The parliamentary debate on domestic debt optimization commenced on Saturday morning. During the debate, the opposition questioned the government regarding the contradictory nature of the proposal that was presented to the Committee on Public Finance and the one which was tabled in parliament. This proposal is not accurate. This was not the proposal that was passed at the Committee on Public Finance. A different proposal was passed by split decision. That was the proposal which was brought forward by the approval of everyone. What we must debate is the approved proposal. We cannot discuss the amended proposal which is not included in the agenda today. We cannot do that. How can we do that? Under which standing order can that happen? The government has got it wrong. They do not know the proposal and the amended proposal. They seem to have no clue about the approved proposal as well. They are not even announcing the names of those who opposed it and those who favoured it at the Committee on Public Finance. Those who favoured it are asking the government not to publish their names because they are afraid they will not be able to face the people. How can this happen? As discussed on the 30th at the Committee on Public Finance, I propose these amendments. I present the original proposal as proposed in the written submission on Sri Lanka's domestic debt restructuring presented to the Cabinet on the June 28, 2023 on implementing the comprehensive domestic debt restructuring methods which is prepared by the Finance Ministry under the instructions of the Central Bank and was approved by the Cabinet.